Hello, and thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. I'm going to be doing the Capricorn daily energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not, especially since this is a general reading. All right, we're going to be looking at what you may be struggling with. Let's see. Capricorn. Capricorn. All right. <clears throat> we have the Knight of Cups, we have the King of Wands, and we have the Nine of Swords. I feel like you're worried about something, okay? There's definitely something that you are worried about. I feel like you have to have a conversation with someone. I feel like maybe someone has turned their back on you with this um, King of Wands. I kind of feel like it's somebody that you respect. I feel like it's, or, or it's somebody that's very controlling maybe with that king of wands maybe it's somebody that i i feel like you have did you walk away from a situation like you walked away from this king of wands and now you're you're wondering if you made the right decision because the knight of cups is going this way the King of Wands is going this way, and it's like the Knight of Cups is walking right into this Nine of Swords. So it's like, I feel like, or did you make a choice or a decision, and you're like, like you feel bad about it, and you're like, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that, or I shouldn't have walked away, or I shouldn't have left that situation. Let's look at the advice from the Tarot. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the High Priestess. And we have the Queen of Swords. Energy coming in for you. I love it. Success and, success and victory with the um, Six of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords getting back on your horse, ready to go. And then we have the Page of Wands. I almost feel like this might be a lesson in communication with this page of wands, with this future energy, and it's almost kind of realizing that communication becomes easier. Um, I feel like two for the overall energy, we have the five of wands, and then we have the six of cups. Um, it could be that a friendship is restored for you um, with the overall energy or like re restoring those feelings of calmness within yourself. Definitely, like I was saying before, that with what you're struggling with is I feel like either you've walked away from something or you need to speak to someone and you're worried about it or you're upset about a situation with this Nine of Swords. Like you're, I feel like you're, you're second guessing yourself about something that you did or you said. Sometimes that happens, right? Sometimes we're like, oh, why did I say that? Why did I do that, right? I really didn't mean to. Sometimes it's like in the heat of the moment, we say or we do something. And that's why I always say sometimes it's best to walk away before we say or do something that creates the situation to be worse than what it is. And I know that for me, I've learned that when I get into a situation that I have learned to give myself time to sort through my feelings before I say anything. And sometimes I have to tell that person, you know what, I need some time to work through this first. People who know me, they know that that's the way that I am and that I'm going to need that time to myself. But people who like maybe aren't too sure, like I maybe I have to I have to tell them and say, you know what, I just need some more time before I can give you an answer or before I can react. Like I know stepping away is better for me in the long run. Um, let's see what else is going on here. All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. This could have to do something with work, okay? So it could have to do something with that. Um, management, it could also have to do with, um, <coughs> like you thought that something was going to work out, or that like you got angry because it was like, well, I thought it was this, but it really turned out to be that. And I feel like it was like, I feel like you were trusting someone or you were trusting a situation and you were trusting that it was 
that you had belief in, and, and that definitely hurts. When you give, when Capricorn gives their trust, like if they've given you their trust, then it's like, you better not, you better not mess that up because chances are it's not going to be the same. Even if you are forgiven by a Capricorn, there's always going to be that bit that like, it's not going to be what it used to be. And um, I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising. So I know that for sure. Um, and that is definitely something that I had to struggle with is because I had to realize that, you know, people are going to hurt you. People are going to let you down, but you have to look at their intentions. Was it malicious intent? Were they trying to hurt you? Were they trying to control you? Were they trying to, you know, or was it just a simple mistake that was a misunderstanding or that I took it the wrong way or that they didn't understand that it was affecting me. And so there's always going to be that, you know, it's kind of the other layer to it as to this situation that went on here. It was like, you know, what was the root of it? And definitely I feel this huge sense of letdown for you because I feel like you were kind of working on building this relationship with this person or this situation and that you had a lot of good feelings about it but something happened that kind of turned that around and it also could be that if you have to have that conversation with someone that you're just kind of worried okay what does this mean for where it was heading um, you know that is it gonna change what it was you were thinking and yeah like you can never know and I just feel like you're stressed and you're worried about something and I feel like, don't belittle your feelings, because I kind of feel like you're questioning your own feelings or thoughts about something. And I feel like, don't question that. Go with your gut feeling and what you feel. Like, don't don't cut yourself short for, for, <coughs> for this situation. Like, you have to be true to yourself. Like, your emotions and feelings matter. So we have the advice from the tarot is I feel like with this 10 of swords, it's time to put it to an end. It's time to put it to a rest because you've been through so much. Listening to your intuition and then just moving forward with this queen of swords and kind of learning as much as you can from the situation. Because the queen of swords is kind of pointing right, right towards this six of wands here where it's like, okay, the reality of the situation is that this has happened. How can I deal with it in the best way possible and move on as soon as quickly, as soon as possible in order to start, you know, shifting my focus towards something else. I feel like it's kind of listening to that intuition with your high priestess, um, you know, and trusting your own feelings and speaking your own truth. We have the Ace of Cups. We have Six of Wands again. Okay. And then we have the, the um, Three of Swords. And then we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Five of Wands again. And then we have the Sun card. I love it. And then for overall energy, we have Justice for yourself. And one more, we have Page of Wands. Um, so a, kind of a lot of repeating energies here. So you have the Page of Wands twice. You have the five of wands twice you have the six of wands so the five of wands the six of wands the page of wands twice um so i feel like it's kind of that progression that this is something for you to learn from and that progression that you have so <coughs> with the advice from the tarot it's we have these cards that came out it's rising above the situation with this heartache right with this three of swords and it's kind of like, how can you turn that around to the best way possible? And kind of realizing, was there a misunderstanding, you know, either for yourself or for that other person? And was it just something was taken in the wrong context or taken in the wrong way? And was there malicious intent behind it? But also realizing what is the best way for you to be able to move on from this and to not get stuck in that energy is because those things are gonna happen. That's what we have to realize the most is that we're going to be let down by people around us, people that we care about, people that care about us. We're even going to let ourselves down. Like we're going to make decisions or choices that sometimes we'll look at and say, why did I do that? Why did I say that? Right. I should have done this or I should have done that, that, or why didn't I do that earlier? You know, why didn't I realize that we're going to do that? Like we're going to do it for ourselves too. And it's like, okay, how can I handle that in the best way possible so that it doesn't 
get me stuck in this nine of swords energy, right? How can I help myself in the best way possible to rise above the situation and get myself back on track? Um, working in the best way for yourself with this justice card, right? Making things happen for yourself. With this energy that wants to come in, again, we have the six of swords, the nine of swords, and the page of wands. And I feel like it's also having that communication within yourself and telling yourself, I can get past this. I can move past this. I can move on from this. I can rise above this, right? That I'm not going to worry about this. Yes, it's easier said than done. Um, but it's like being your own cheerleader and telling yourself that you will be able to have the power to move on from the situation, right? And start new things with this Ace of Wands, right? And fight for what is important to you and to bring that happiness in your life. And say, what do I want to focus on? Do I want to focus on this Nine of Swords and this thing that, yeah, there was a disappointment here. I thought everything was going great and I was heading in this direction. Yeah, it's really upsetting. Yes, there's many times in our life, in the past and in the future, where we're going to be let down by things. But it's all about how we handle those. What's, what's the best way to, it's easier said than done. I realize that, I understand that. But I'm trying to give you tools to help yourself to get through a situation right to get through the situation and to not get caught up in your head to not beat yourself up about things you know to to try and what do you need for yourself to process a situation and move on to to have closure in this situation what do you need asking yourself figuring that out what do i need to move on from this situation what do i need for myself to move past this and let this go right do i need to have a conversation you know do i need to you know, reach out to this person. What do I you need to do to put an end to it? We have skunk spirit. Know your worth. Know that you are worth so much more that you need to look out for yourself and that you deserve the best, right? You have to tell yourself and you have to believe that. If you say, well, no, not really. I deserve this punishment. Like that's how I used to be. Is I used to be like, yeah, I deserve to be punished because I didn't do this, right? That was my horrible mindset right so it's knowing that you deserve the best you deserve abundance you deserve amazing things to come into your life to be in your life right you deserve that you are priceless there is only one you and you have to believe that within yourself and you have to do those things to show yourself that you believe that. You're not only saying that, but you're believing that. All right. We're all gonna have disappointment. We're all gonna be let down, right? We're all gonna have those times that are gonna be challenging. But it's how are you gonna handle that? How are you working through that? We have grief, accepting loss. Sometimes we have to accept loss. We have to accept situations for what they are. We have to accept that loss for choices maybe that we made, for decisions that we made, for things that didn't work out, we have to accept it, right? And then move on from it. We don't have to forget it, but we need to move on from it. <coughs> That's just my personal opinion. Again, that may or may not resonate with you. We have reawaken, reawaken yourself, and then we have compassion having compassion for yourself, we are reawaken that compassion that you have for yourself, looking out for yourself, making those best choices for yourself. Are you putting yourself in a negative situation or a negative mindset, right? Are you doing those things to self-sabotage? I've done that for decades. Not anymore. I try not to. <laughs> um, I, because I did it for so many decades, I think there's, you know, it takes a while to break those habits. But for the most part, I think I've broken those. Still got some more to work on. But reawaken that compassion that you have for yourself and to know your worth and to say, I'm worth so much more and I deserve so much better than to be stuck in this Nine of Swords. We have this progression of the Nine of Swords to the Ten of Swords. So it's that progression and that movement forward of saying, Yes, this was a lot that I went through and I'm exhausted and I'm tired, but it's finally come to an end and I'm putting it behind me, right? That I, I don't need to focus on this any, like it's not worth my time, right? That I, I don't need to deal with that anymore. I don't need to focus on that. Having that compassion for yourself and seeing how it's affecting you and seeing how it's, 
it's putting you in this negative space and, and seeing that, you know, things need to be changed. I love it. <laughs> Big happy changes, definitely. Having that compassion and reawakening yourself to have that compassion for yourself and bring in those big happy changes, right? Um, and to know your worth. And what do those big happy changes represent to you? Like, what does that mean to you? Like, if you were to have big happy changes happen in your life right now, what, what would that be? Like, that's exciting just to even think about. Let's see, big happy changes. Like, what would that mean for you? Um, what does that look like? What does that feel like, right? Put yourself in that energy of to you and talk about it out out loud and say big happy changes represent to me what right what what does that represent to you talk about it say it out loud um a big happy changes for me um i would say one would be that both of my youtube channels blow up and that i become financially secure and that would be a big happy change for me that I am working towards, right? I'm trying to make that happen. So it's like you have this goal in mind. So that's my goal. So then it's like I'm finding those ways to make that happen, right? I'm putting the work and I'm putting the effort and I'm making sure that I'm getting my videos out. I'm making sure that I'm giving my best quality for my videos. I'm making sure that I don't let the negative things, right? The people that are saying negative comments and I make sure that I don't let those bother me, right? That because everyone that's going to happen to everyone and I don't let that hold me back. That I create the channel that I want to create, right? Because that's what makes me happy. It makes me so much so happy to do these readings and to have that help me to be financially secure. That would be amazing. Big happy changes for me would be able to buy my own house, right? To have my own place because I've been renting. And it would big happy change would be that, right? Um, so it's like, that's really exciting. And so it's like one thing leads to a next. And so it's like, put yourself in that energy, right? That sun energy, those big happy changes. What does that represent to you? Write those things down. Put yourself in that energy and work towards those goals. So exciting, right? I love talking about it, right? talking about it. It's exciting, right? To see people say and to talk about all of those big happy changes they want in their life and the smile that's on their face and the energy that you feel from those people, right? That excitement. And then that kind of makes you excited. And like, okay, what do I want to have happen? All right, let's grab a um, wisdom of the Oracle. I feel like these two. So let's go with that. Um, deep knowing, looking within, and I feel like, what is that deep, deep knowing that you have? Oh, I love it. I love it. This is like my favorite card. The milk and honey with the cute little elephant that's in that bowl of milk and honey. And it's about those, the rewards of life, the sweet part of life. The sweet, it doesn't even have to be anything big. It doesn't have to be like, oh, I won the lottery. It could just be that, Wow, I'm so happy that I'm in this moment right now. I'm so happy for this beautiful blue sky and these beautiful clouds and, you know, the green trees and that I'm just feeling so happy today. I just saw a dragonfly go by. Like, it could just be like celebrating the fact that you are here in this moment and you feel happy and you feel good, you know, and it's just the sweetness of life, right? And all of those little things that add up and that deep knowing that, things are going to get better because you're working on yourself, right? That you're trying. I feel like just listening to this, this, this tarot message is, is that you're looking for those answers that you're trying to reawaken that you're, you're trying to look for those answers. You're trying to look for those solutions and you're trying to look for those ways that can help you, right? That can push you towards, right? Those big, happy changes. And, and you're, 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 you're just doing those things to help yourself. And that's a good feeling just in itself and saying, okay, I'm having compassion for myself. I see that I'm struggling. What are the ways that I can find to help myself through this nine of swords moment, right? That I can get through this the best way possible. And milk and honey is just like those amazing things just in the moment, right? Like this elephant is having so much fun just having a bath in milk and honey. Like the simplest things can bring you the biggest joy. It doesn't, and when you put yourself in that energy and you feel happy and you start to appreciate all and you're grateful for all of those little things, those start to become bigger things 
and you start to want to keep yourself in that energy instead of the nine of swords like i get so excited about it like i can't even explain it because this is the best part of my life like I've, I've never been so happy and so content and found this peacefulness within myself. And I feel like there's so many amazing things to come. Like there are amazing things to come and big changes for me and I'm so excited for that. And it's just being excited about life. I was never excited about life. I was never excited about life. I was just like, okay, when is this gonna be over? I mean, to be honest, I was just like, when is this gonna be over? Because this is torture. But I learned to change that attitude within myself and that I'm like, okay, now I appreciate each day and I'm so excited for what's coming in, but I'm also excited for this moment, right? And it's just changing a whole mindset and it's being in that milk and honey in that sweet time of life that it doesn't have to be anything big. A sweet time of life could just be a day where the sun is out and the beautiful puffy clouds and you're just feeling good about the day right? Yeah, I have stuff going on. I do have worries. I have concerns about things, but I'm not going to let that get to me. I'm going to focus on, okay, in this moment right now, I love this reading. I'm having so much fun. I'm connecting with you and I'm just feeling happy. And that's, I want to enjoy that moment, right? Just like this elephant is just enjoying that moment in that milk and honey. <laughs> All about perspective. I keep going back to the six of, of wands and I just love that, right? Rising above the situation, feeling victorious and successful. It doesn't even have to be that you've accomplished anything. It's just your mindset. <clears throat> Door to spirit. And then we have the dove, which is peacefulness. You know, finding that peacefulness within yourself is that, you know, feeling peace and calm and saying everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. Like it's, I don't need to worry about it. I don't need to be in this nine of swords. That if I do have a situation I have to work through, I'm going to try my best to use all the tools that I have to work through this the best way possible and to be able to let that go and to find that peacefulness within yourself. Let's grab a uh, psychic tarot. <coughs> Triumph. Winning. <laughs> success, victory, triumph, um, chariot. This is the chariot moving forward, feeling like you're in control. You are in control. You're in control of what you focus on. You're in control of what you think about. You're in control of who and what you surround yourself with. You're in control of the habits and the choices that you make. You are in control. Uh, peacefulness. I love it. The lilies with my Lenormand peacefulness. And that's what I was feeling with the door to spirit and the dove peace, finding peace within yourself, finding peace within yourself. I think that is big, happy changes. And I feel like that is priceless is finding peacefulness within yourself. And when you reach that, then you understand that, right? It's hard to understand until you get to that point. And I feel like I've gotten to that point and it definitely feels so good and it's so much better than where I had myself in this I was always in the nine of swords energy I was always worrying about things I was always stressing about things I was always feeling like I wasn't good enough or that I could never be good enough and I just let that all go and I'm just like just be me just be me I am the way that I am the people that appreciate me will gravitate toward me the people who don't want to deal with me they will walk away Right? And I will not let them bother me. And I will just continue to be me and find that peacefulness within myself. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.